Someone asked whether porcupines get pricked when they scratch themselves. Actually, they don't. A porcupine's quills normally lie flat against their skin and only stand up when they feel threatened. Since the quill tips point backward and scratching motions go sideways, they simply can't get pricked. So, just how powerful are porcupine quills? An adult porcupine has approximately 30,000 sharp quills on its body. The longest ones can reach nearly 14 inches in length. They're extremely hard with needle-sharp tips. When danger strikes, they rapidly expand to form protective armour. More boover, the quill surfaces have reverse barbs. Once they penetrate flesh, they become nearly impossible to remove, like fish hooks. For animals without hands, getting pricked basically means infection and death. So if a porcupine loses all its quills, is death imminent? Actually, their quills aren't firmly attached to the skin. They fall off easily under pressure or force. However, fallen quills regrow within days. A single porcupine can replace tens of thousands of quills throughout its lifetime. With such formidable defences, do porcupines have any natural enemies besides humans? Fishers pose their greatest threat. They're the only animals capable of efficiently hunting porcupines rather than confronting the spiky back directly. Fishers attack at three to four strikes per s end frantically biting the porcupine's quill-free face. Once the head gets injured, porcupines immediately lose their fighting ability. So, who's tougher, porcupines or hedgehogs? Porcupines can weigh up to 66 pounds, while hedgehogs weigh merely 2 pounds. Hedgehog quills are only about 1 inch long, like toothpicks, and break easily. When threatened, they simply curl up defensively with zero offensive capability. But porcupines can easily fend off top predators like cheetahs and lions.